Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Trapped in Higashi. It is the morning of day six and I've got six skill points to spend. Let's start over in Fortitude. I'm going to put another point into Pain Tolerance. And I'm going to go ahead and put a couple into Healing Factor. I think we've got enough food now and we're getting enough out of loot bags to where this won't be a problem. Because it does heal you by pulling from your hunger. I'm going to put a point into Cardio. And now let's go over to Agility. I'm going to put another point into Deep Cuts, and let's get a point into Whirlwind, which is going to make knife attacks 10% faster. I uh, got a little crazy last night. Luckily, I had the cameras running, so I'm going to do a little flashback now. We'll do a little voiceover edit so you can see what happened. First, I had some visitors come see me up at the third floor, which I didn't mind. They brought me some loot bags. Then I went and picked up that loot bag by the elevator shaft that I couldn't reach and broke through that cobblestone block so I can get all my stuff back from that ammunition box. After that, I dealt with a few more zombies that came up to the third floor to see me. And because I kept hearing zombies, I decided it was time to knock out one of those wood blocks to keep them from being able to get up to the third floor. Then I ran over to the bathroom. I figured I would use the rest of the night to beat through the ceiling block so we have a way out of the bathroom. A couple of zombies came to see me, which is fine. One of them brought me a loot bag. And I kept working my way through that ceiling block in the bathroom for the rest of the night. At one point, a spider zombie stopped by, and he just refused to fucking die, which pissed me off. But finally, he did. Then I broke that ceiling block, so now we have a way out of the bathroom and up to the second floor. Got a few more kills, grabbed a few more loot bags, but they just kept coming. They wouldn't stop. I was like, what is this, fucking horde night already? At least they weren't runners, though. They were pretty easy to deal with. But I figured I better get back up to the third floor, because it was time to start the next episode. So that's what I did. And that's what happened. Got some kills, got some loot, broke through that block in the bathroom, so now we have a way out. We can't get trapped in there anymore. And we still got some zombies down here that we're going to have to deal with. There's one. But there's a few more. Oh, we got a cop. Let's get out of his line of sight. I don't feel like getting puked on this morning. And it's day six. So we have a horde to fight tonight, which means we're going to pretty much spend the entire day getting the base ready. But if we can finish at a decent hour, maybe I'll go ahead and try and bring on a screamer. If we can just get one screamer to show up with a little horde that we can deal with uh, using melee only, then maybe we can get some loot bags with ammo in it that we can use for the horde fight tonight. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. First thing we need to do is get some stone. Make cobblestone, make cobblestone blocks, and keep building this fucking base. Luckily, I got myself a pickaxe, so harvesting stone will go quicker. I threw the uh, flaming mod I picked up last night on the pickaxe because I can't put it on the hunting knife, which is kind of stupid. You can put a flaming mod on a machete, but for some reason, not on a hunting knife. You didn't bring me anything, big boy. Well, thanks for nothing. Alright, we gotta make more cobblestone rocks. And now we need more clay soil. Oh, I spotted a loot bag. Two of them. More 44 ammo. I tell you, if we can get lucky enough to pull a magnum or a desert vulture out of a loot bag, that would be pretty fucking sweet. Otherwise, there's gonna be a lot of wasted ammo around here. And now, speaking of pulling things out of loot bags, I was thinking about how we're going to get the engine and the battery that we're going to need for this gyro, considering there are no cars in this building to take apart. So I was trying to remember if I've ever pulled an engine or a battery out of a loot bag before. And I'm pretty sure I have. I just couldn't remember a specific time when it happened, so I, I can't be sure. But I did a little research, and in terms of the engine... It says that lumberjacks have a rare chance of dropping engines because you need an engine for a chainsaw or an auger. So, we can possibly get an engine from a lumberjack loot bag 
The battery, it didn't say anything, but I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure I pulled the battery out of a loop bag before. So what I'm saying is we just have to get fucking lucky, that's all. Okay, now I need scaffolding bars. And I'm gonna use these to connect all of the columns. Like this. Which is gonna leave an opening in the middle. Now you can use that opening for throwables, even though I don't have any. Um, or you can just fill it in. But, I don't have the blocks to fill it in yet. You know, I gotta finish building first. So if I gotta leave those open tonight, we just, we'll just be careful not to fall through that opening. I will put a uh, ladder in the bathroom, though. So in the event we do fall down, we can run to the bathroom, uh, close ourselves in there, and, and get up to the second floor again using that ladder. Uh, anyway, we need to build a staircase here that's going to uh, have a little catwalk leading to the columns that we can use uh, for some melee. So we're gonna start off with two wood frames right there. And then we're going to skip three blocks. One, two, three. And this is where we will start the staircase. All right, we need more blocks. We want to make sure to leave ourselves some cobblestone rocks tonight so we can do any repair work uh, during the night if we need to. Let's get this block out of the way. I meant to destroy this last night, but it took me pretty much all night to destroy the block in the bathroom. Uh, it didn't take long at all with the pickaxe. These columns are going to get destroyed really fast, but as long as the base works, uh, the, the structure or the platform we're standing on will not fall. It should not fall. I hope it doesn't fall <laughs> or we're fucked. All right, let's build this staircase up uh, a little more. And now we need to put in the steps. There we go. Now we're going to make a catwalk using a pole. We got zombie. We're going to use this one. Pole side centered. There we go. I'm going to put in two of those. And for the third one... We're going to use this little nib right here. Cube, pole, side, centered. That'll go in like that. Okay. Now we're going to put in a set of bars that's going to rest on that cube. Like that. And I'm going to build these bars up three or four blocks high, but leave an opening right here that I can stab through. So the idea is the zombies come running up and they fall down, but just before they fall, I will stab them in the face, causing bleed damage, and hopefully we can do that over and over again. I should probably upgrade these blocks to wood. I guess I could even go to cobblestone. Let's just do wood for now, because if we leave them the way they are, one puke from a cop will destroy them. And then this whole melee area is good for nothing. And we just got to make sure the zombies don't break through the bars, which I don't think they will because they'll just fall through there immediately and we should be fine. Worst case scenario, we just need to break the one wood block that's touching the column. They'll both fall and they won't be able to get to us. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Fucking ninja puppy. Didn't even hear him until he was down here. He blew it, though. He had his chance to bite me. He didn't take it. Machine gunner book. 
Fully automatic mode has an increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. That's fun. Ow, big boy. I'm rushing. I don't know why, it's only 11 o'clock and I'm crafting more than enough blocks to finish the base. We're looking good. Where the hell are these pricks? They both die? Alright, that's pretty much it. Now we just gotta hope it works. I think it will. I just don't think it will for long. Because the zombies are going to run up here. I'm going to stab them. They're going to fall. They're going to go into a loop. But after a few times, I think they're just going to get pissed and beat the stairs. And these stairs are going to get destroyed super fast. And then that'll be it. Oh, why am I typing steps? Stairs. I'm going to use this corner piece here on the side. This will help a little bit. If a zombie is approaching the staircase from the side, it will still be able to climb the steps instead of just getting stuck, pissed, and punching the steps. So, it can just go right up like that. Can I make this jump? Mm yeah. Yes. Alright, fuck it, I'm gonna try and bring on a screamer. I'm gonna only put one piece of coal in each campfire. That'll cost us 20 coal. We gotta keep an eye on our coal. We don't want to burn through all of it. If we can't find full wheels in loot bags, we're gonna need some to craft wheels. Buddy, I'm in the middle of something here. You rude son of a bitch. Will you just die? Well, campfires are already starting to burn out, so... Unfortunately, that did not work. I'm pretty hungry, that's from all the damage I've taken this morning, and healing factor healing me by pulling from my hunger. So, you know, it's a bit of a problem, but I got plenty of food here. And food is a pretty common item in loot bags, so I'm not too worried about it. Tactical Warfare. Pipe Machine Gun Quality 2. Alright, I'm gonna craft one of those before the Horde. And I'm going to roll with the level 2 and the level 1, because we want to take cops out as quick as possible. So we'll be able to get off 30 rounds before having to reload. Wouldn't it be hilarious if the series ends because I take the whole building down by jeopardizing the structural integrity because I've mined all the stone from underneath the building? It could happen. Matter of fact, I might be secretly trying to make that happen. What we got? Feral big boy? Alright, come with me, big boy. We're gonna try this out. Oh, son of a bitch. Of course I didn't make that jump this time. Okay. Come on up this way, buddy. Was he not care? I'm gonna try this. Sometimes putting blocks in weird places and standing in weird places attracts them to your location. Big boy just does not seem to give a fuck right now. Up here, you shithead. Oh, wait, wait. He's coming. All right. Yes, come here. See ya. Oh, perfect. Now what's he doing? He's flipping out down there. You see what I mean? They get pissed off and they just start hitting shit. But he's just one zombie. So with an entire horde, there there still should be like a bunch, more than enough, coming up the catwalk to where we can get a good amount of melee kills. Some of them are going to do what Big Boy's doing now, which is just wandering off and hitting other random blocks. Oh, uh, I hope this works. Even if it just works a little bit. Like I said, I just want to get, you know, a decent amount of kills using the knife. I don't want to have to kill the entire horde with my pistol and machine gun, because not only will that take forever, but it'll use up all my ammo. This seems to be working. Sort of.
Okay, I gotta show you guys something that I was completely wrong about. Happens often. I try to correct myself, though, when it does happen. It has to do with farm plots in the world. Turns out you can use pre-existing farm plots as long as there is sky above them. I didn't think that was the case. You used to be able to do that, and you used to be able to dig up farm plots, and you would actually get a farm plot, and you can use it somewhere else. Then they took that out of the game. And I could have sworn that they took out the ability to use pre-existing farm plots in the world too, making it so you had to craft your own. Again. Completely wrong about that. So if you do find farm plots in the world, as long as there is no roof above them, or if you can destroy the roof above them, you can plant your crops there. Or trees. Now I know I did destroy a lot of farm plots that were up here on the rooftop, but it's not a big deal. There is still so much plot space up here, more than enough to accommodate us. All right, so with the frame in place right there, we can jump up and grab that piece of ladder and get the hell out of the bathroom. Maybe we should put a hatch up there just in case. I don't want the zombies to see that as a way to get to me. I was thinking we can start in the bathroom, get a bunch of melee kills here, and then get up the ladder, make our way over to the base and kind of lead the zombies over there at that point. But I'm not going to do that. I think that could possibly screw their pathing up. What if they all decide to just stay in the bathroom and beat on the walls? Let's not even go there. We could possibly use the bathroom as a way to handle whatever zombies are left once morning comes. Because I doubt we're going to be able to finish off the horde before morning. I just don't have enough ammo to do that. I mean, I got plenty of 9mm ammo, but we're using a pipe pistol. I forgot I put mushrooms on this wall. Yeah, we got 13 mushrooms now. And one spore. I'll stick that on the wall up on the third floor. That meat will give us a little stamina boost for a bit. Let me drink a coffee. And here we go. I hope this works. See, it's working now. Big boys. Uh, whoa. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> Jumped right down into the hole. Here we go. Look at them all coming up here. Oh, fuck yeah. That guy was, ran down there so fast I couldn't even stab him. It's beautiful. Come on up, bitches. Oh, I missed her. Here we go. Starting to pile up. Yes, dude. Cops down. Nice. What's that guy doing? Come on. F stop fucking around. Look, now they're all standing around on the steps. Okay. I don't know what that guy's doing. It's still kind of working. They're not all coming to the catwalk, but I said that would happen. Holy shit. What the fuck, lady? I didn't think they could jump diagonally. I guess they can. Uh, some of them are beating the steps, so... I don't know how much longer this is going to last for, but... At least it's still working. Gotta take care of that cop before he blows up. I don't want him fucking this base up. Out of the way. Lumberjack, maybe he's got an engine. Cops down. Come on, dude, stop beating on the steps. What's the matter with you? Oh, shit. I thought I killed that cop. I guess I didn't. I need to pay more attention. Stop hitting the steps. What the hell is wrong with them? See, they just get mad. They know that I'm smarter than them, and they don't like it. A uh, piece of the steps is now broken. I don't know if they can get up here. It doesn't look like they can. Not well, he got up. Um, they're, they're working on the support columns. It's not a big deal, though. I should build some sort of, like, bridge that I can use to repair the steps. That might, that might not be a bad idea. 
as long as they can't reach the bridge. Well, I think that's it for the steps in the catwalk. Oh, there's a cop down there. Let's be careful not to fall down one of these openings. Cop is down. But he is not dead. Alright, got him. Another one. Oh, there he goes. Well, too bad. I tried. One more mag for the uh, machine gun. That's what we're looking at for the rest of the night, and it's still pretty early. Just uh, slowly reloading this six-shooter. Shooting down on him. I do have a good amount of arrows, but I'd rather just use the 9mm. I did bring pipes with me to repair this pistol when I need to. I, I, I did have the thought about trying to go to the bathroom now, get down there, get some melee kills, get back up here, but I'm not going to risk doing that. Now throwables would help a lot. I can't believe I didn't find any in this entire building. I did unlock the pipe bomb recipe, and I do have the materials to craft them, but you need to craft those in the workbench. So hopefully we can find a wrench in one of these loot bags. Then we can craft a workbench, and then we can craft pipe bombs. A lot of lumberjacks in here tonight. Maybe we can find an engine, too. Now, they've already taken out every single one of the support columns, and this structure is still standing, like I said it would. Now, some of them don't know what to do now, but some of them are attacking the concrete wall. I guess they figure if they take down the entire concrete wall, then this structure will fall, and they're right about that. The question is, can they do it? I mean, I think we have something here. I just need to add in more columns and uh, maybe tweak that catwalk a little bit or like I was saying earlier build some sort of bridge some way for me to get to the stairs and be able to repair them so we can continue to use them over and over again or I was thinking we could possibly install a second and maybe third set of steps but just don't connect those to the columns until the horde night. So once the first set fails, then we'll connect the second set and use that until it fails. Then we'll connect the third set and use that until it fails. So basically they're attacking the bathrooms because that is the structure that is holding our platform up. I got three skill points. I'm going to put a couple into Gunslinger since that's what we're slinging right now. Anyway, we're going to have some repair work to do to the bathrooms. I know there's a concrete blocks they're destroying. We're going to just fill it in with cobblestone blocks. I never destroyed this. I forgot. I need to do that too before uh, the next horde. I'm going to just let them blow up. Fuck it. There's a bunch of zombies down there. Here's another one. Should probably craft a hammer. I'm pretty sure I unlocked the recipe for that. Oh, I got to repair this thing. Ah, shit. Probably should have moved out of the cop's line of sight first. Okay, it is officially morning. That's going to calm down some of these zombies, but a lot of them are feral, so they're going to continue to run around. Let's work on these bigger groups for a bit, thin them out, and then I'm thinking we uh, head over to the bathroom and see if we can use that to kill the rest using melee.
First thing we want to do is put this wood frame in. Oh, shit. Well, scratch that idea. They broke into the bathroom. There, is that gonna work? Yep. Okay. Here they come. Yeah. Nice. Oh, what are you doing? I should have put in another block. They're attracted to it. They don't know what to do. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I didn't realize the top set of bars was broken. Uh, let's just do this. When the hell did they break those bars? Uh, whatever. That didn't last long. That's what she said. Was hoping for some 7.62 in there. And this pistol is broken, and that is my last pipe. This is an absolute mess. Thinking about just going upstairs, saying fuck it. Oh, we gotta get rid of this dog. Got him. All right, screw it. I'm using a first aid bandage and I'm running for the stairwell. Now, they don't have a way up in the stairwell. Excuse me, Lumberjack. But I could give them a way up here. Or I can just stab them from here. No shit. Now, I don't know where that bear went. But... If I use ladders, I can give them a way up here. A way that the bear can't use. Watch out, fuckers, I'm trying to help you. Come on. Well, if they would move for a second. Yes. All right, here we go. No 762, unfortunately. Oh, there's another chance for some. Ow. Nice. It's more 9mm. Damn it. Well, at least the ladder's still working. Damn it. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Uh, let's fill in this block here. And we need to put another ladder in. That's going to be hard to do because a bunch of zombies down there. There's a cop. Let's blow him up. Get rid of these so he doesn't destroy them. Let's get him angry. Ouch. Holy shit. Uh, that's not my floor. We gotta go up one more. Let me use the first aid kit. Oh, man. What the hell? Fucking 7 o'clock in the morning. I think it's time we end this episode. Pick it up in the next one. Right? I'm just, I'm, I'm just about there. I hate to uh, leave this many zombies around, though. Plus that bear. Here's the bear. Yeah, hold him there, Mo. Thanks, buddy. I oh, appreciate that. Yeah, help Mo out. Keep that bear right the fuck there. Yes. All right, come on up, shitheads. Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. All right, he's dead. Nice. Holy shit. Oh, damn it. Oh, sweet. Give me some 762. Finally. I'm just going to use the knife, though, because these guys aren't feral. But at least we have a backup machine gun now. 
I think we're just about done. It's gotten much quieter. There's still birds, but they're outside. Until they find their way in, I don't give a shit. I hear more around. I just hope they're not runners. All right, we're looking pretty clear with a ton of looty bags. Here we go. Oh, we got to unload our inventory. And you know what? It's almost 8 in the morning. This is where I'm going to end this episode. We'll pick things up here in the next episode, which means you guys got to wait until the next episode to see what is in all of those loot bags. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys are going to not like that decision at all. Plus, this is going to air on a Friday, which means you got to wait all weekend. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Trapped in Higashi, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.